hello and welcome to my channel the other fragrances test view today I would speak for an Italian brand Trussardi uh, this is a fashion and lifestyle brand and uh, they own about 53 fragrances today I will speak for the new collection Le Vie di Milano which was coming in uh, 2020 in this collection there are six perfumes and uh, here today I have only four. I have sprayed in some tissues. Uh, they are all unisex and the first one which I will speak is uh, Limitless Shopping Via de la Spiaggia Trussardi. This is an oriental floral fragrance. Uh, let me smell it again. I have it here. This is oriental floral. First note I get here is honey from the beeswax, but not the honey from uh, Scandal Jean Paul Gaultier. This is a beautiful aromatic honey, not so sweet and sickly uh, like in Scandal that is so sweet. This from Scandal, it's bring me a headache. This is a well done honey. Dominant, uh, dominant note. Uh, here it's also green apple that I immediately uh, smelt it when I first sprayed and in the dry down the green apple it disappears and uh, the smell turns more in uh, soft honey musky. What I get else here is also the flower hawthorn I know very good how the flowers smell because we have it uh, here in the park in the springtime and I smelled it last year when was quarantine I was going more often in the park and this flower uh, is like for decoration in the park and it make a lot of little little flower and they have somehow uh, a honey smell, a strong floral, a honey sweet fragrance with a dirty animalic nuance. It's very addictable. And uh, this fragrance smells like honey and they have made a nice combination from beeswax, honey and uh, uh, hawthorn. Hawthorn, I don't know how to pronounce correctly. We have also some heliotrope in uh, base notes here. Heliotrope is again in a powdery way, in a honey way. It's a lilac flower, yeah. I get again some tonka bean because I have it here in dry down. I know very good how tonka bean smell. I have a lot of perfumes with tonka bean. It's a typical tonka bean in dry, dry down. Longevity here is uh, maximal uh, 8 hours. I'm not so satisfied with longevity in this brand, but uh, the moment that I spray in the first hour, so the sillage was very good and uh, it was so big sillage I could smell um, without putting my nose near. It was a potent smell and it smells so beautiful. This is the smell that I like most in this line, but I like even the others, but this I find more in my taste or yeah I like the honey here the honey is nicely well done the next perfume which I want to speak is Ivicioli Via Fiori Chiari Trussardi Vicioli Via I don't know Fiori Chiari it means the clear flower yeah, this is again for women and men was coming in 2020. I smell this now and this is a aromatic warm spicy oriental fragrance. I get here some cardamom. Cardamom is in top notes and first I spread it I get I get uh, the cardamom. I like it very much how cardamom smells. It has such a beautiful aroma even as a single note. I has I have smelt it in kitchen and in general I like cardamom perfumes. Uh, when they don't go uh, total masculine. This is between woman and man. I would wear this 
uh, perfume. I get some sweetness here that might come from vanilla and elemi. Elemi, for the people who don't know, is a group from raisins and balsam. It's coming from the trees. And what I get else here is uh, some liquor notes. This is a sensual smell. It's likable for a lot of people. I would give a compliment to a man who will wear this scent. I like it but I'm not so happy with the longevity here. As I said, uh, all the line does not have a great longevity. This uh, lasts about 6 hours and after fades even as skin scent is very quiet. I recommend this but for people who like to smell good shortly and after they change their smell different they put in lunch time, different smell they put uh, in dinner so this is perfect when you like to change your smells. Next perfume is Aperitivo Milanese Porta Nuova Trussardi. Aperitivo Milanese. Uh, I don't know how must be a Aperitivo Milanese. <laughs> I have to go to ask <laughs> to a bar for Aperitivo Milanese. <laughs> Porta Nuova, the new door, is the translation. Here it makes sense the name because we have Amaretto scent. This is almond vanilla perfume. It's very nice. I have it here. I don't know why this brings me in my mind a rainy day. Putting this perfume and uh, feeling cozy and lazy. Drinking Amaretto at home with your best friend or in a small intimate bar in Milano and you make some conversation how was going your romantic time with your love, with your girlfriend or with your boyfriend. I get Amaretto here, it's like bitter almond notes. I like even to drink Amaretto, I like the smell from the drink and I get it here definitely. I get some powdery notes from Heliotrope. Also Iris, but more I think Heliotrope give the powderiness here. And I get also some richness, uh, sweet richness deep from vanilla and amber. Longevity here is again maxima, uh, maximum 6 hours. But I like the dry down, uh, it have nice deepness, it smell dry down, it's good, expensive, it's benzoin. It smells very good. Even does not last so long. I recommend this perfume. It's likable. I would wear this perfume. Next perfume which I have choose to spray because they were six fragrances and uh, the two other that I didn't choose to spray I so far so notes I didn't find so much in my taste I found them more masculine and the fragrance number four which I want to introduce Passeggiata in Galleria Vittorio Emanuele Due Trussardi this is uh, in Eng did mean, mean in English uh, walking in uh, Galleria Victoria in like shopping mall shopping center Victoria is a Victoria Emanuele Due must be a name which they wanted to honor to honor it and they put it to the shopping place. I want to show this picture. I just found it at my home Galleria Emanuele. It look an old picture. Yes. First note I get here is hazelnut. This smells so delicious. And together with vanilla, the hazelnuts smell like I want to eat it. It smells like Nutella. Smell is very dominant. This smell like Nutella. I want to eat this smell. This is a gourmand fragrance. But the smell is really, really nice. This is a very beautiful fragrance. It's very potent. I enjoy it very much and in the dry down I get more musk and cinnamon. 
This perfume changes completely from the opening to dry down. This brings my imagination like walking here to Galeria Emanuele. <laughs> here, yeah. <laughs> Uh, like walking in a bakery here in the morning and taking some hot coffee with brioche con cioccolato, how Italians say. <laughs> I recommend it, but don't wait more longevity than 4 hours. You have to spray it again. Smell in itself is well done. It is, is authentic. I didn't smell something similar like this. And I like very much how they have uh, done the hazelnut here. There is a little bit tuberose smelling uh, with jasmine and coconut. But this smells like a bakery. I love to eat croissant with chocolate and the hazelnut. Mm. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Uh, today uh, my fourth are the perfumes. If you already know them Please let me a comment below what do you think, which you own, how long is uh, longevity by you, did you get compliments. Please, please subscribe to my channel, activate the bell and we're here in the next video. Bye!